Back to Thursday's Midday. Kelly Vayon is joining us now from the Children's Miracle Network. Kelly, always great to have you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Well, we were talking earlier, it is National Ice Cream Month. It absolutely and is. And this is kind of going with that, I guess you would say. It it's is. a perfect timing. It is. This is a 37-year partnership okay. with the Cabrini Hospital Kids. Dairy Queen has a uh, National Miracle Treat Day. Okay. And it's exactly two weeks from today. So right. it is on Thursday. Um, July 25th so mark your calendars if you'd like to also support life-saving services uh, and the kids at Cabrini Hospital um, like I said for 37 years we've been partnering with seven locations locally mm -hmm. and those locations are in Alexandria Pineville Ball mm -hmm. two in Natchitoches and also Rain and Lafayette Okay. Uh, because we serve children from all of those parishes. Mm -hmm. So those seven locations on that day will be donating a dollar or more for every blizzard sold okay. to life-saving uh, services and to the children at Cabrini Hospital. Okay. All right. So mm -hmm. is this something where you, you pick how much you want to donate or do they just kind of no, do a they, dollar or more? Right. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. And so you don't have to say or do anything. You'll just go in and Order your favorite blizzard and uh, on uh, July 25th, and the company will donate. It just depends on the um, the uh, m manager in terms of if it's more than a dollar or not okay. as to the donation. But um, this has helped a lot of kids. You know, just last year they raised $3,800 in one day, and wow. their goal this year is to raise 4000 Okay. So they like to do that, and um, you can help. Like I said, all of these funds stay local. They help um, close to 270 local kids per day. Uh, it help, they help kids like um, Carson. He's a great example. Carson is a local child that was born at 32 weeks. So he was born two months early. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he fought for his life for 11 days in the Cabrini neonatal ICU, and today uh, Carson is eight years old and wow. he's thriving. So he's doing wonderful. He loves to play outside, spend time with his family, um, but he's just a great example of how a local child can be impacted when you have an unexpected delivery early. Right. Um, and so that's just one way that we utilize the funds uh, that come in on Miracle Treat Day. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. but there's plenty of other ways too. Plenty Absolutely. Of other, I mean, several of them. And so I know uh, we Absolutely. were talking last time that you were on, you know, you can also donate like when you go to Walmart and stuff, which yes. I found that, you know, <laughs> I was able to experience that not too long ago. Very right. easy, just Thank round you. up right there. So, and all of that goes towards helping these kids. Right. So we're the only not-for-profit hospital in central Louisiana. Right. So that means that we don't take out funds for salary and overhead and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, we were recently voted the top maternity center uh, in the area by the uh, Community Choice Awards. Wow. One reason for that is our mission. Our associates, our doctors, we have a real passion um, for acting as the hands and feet of Jesus and they take it very seriously. Um, as you can see from the graphic, there's a lot of things happening and expensive things mm -hmm. um, for a lot of this sophisticated equipment that we have. We talked last time about the uh, nitric oxide, yes. one of two hospitals in the state that have this, which is life-saving for babies born early. Also, the only one that's got the um, transport isolate that reaches 14 parishes when kids are sick emergently um, that has servo control on it. So it's just a combination of hundreds of different services and equipment that all come together um, to provide local kids um, all the way from Lafayette to Winfield to Manny to right here in central Louisiana, um, these higher levels of services. And today, like I said, the easiest way that the public can help is just to bring your family out to any of those seven Dairy Queens mm -hmm. um, on that Thursday, July 25th, and 100% of the funds that are donated are gonna go directly to provide the life-saving care at Cabrini Hospital. Absolutely, all right, mm -hmm. so Thursday, July 25th, any dairy, any of the seven Dairy Queen locations, mm -hmm. get a blizzard, and, and there you go, that's your donation. Absolutely, all right. thank you. Kelly, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back right after this break.